Forgive me if it takes me just a moment. That is the hymn that was sung at our wedding. And every time I hear it, it, uh, it moves me. Thank you. Good morning, friends. With the grace and peace of Jesus Christ, I welcome you to worship at Second Presbyterian Church in Indianapolis, whether you are gathered here in the sanctuary for worship or joining us via the live stream. We believe that God has gathered us together. We believe that God will use this hour to equip us for the work of ministry, and we believe that God will send us from this place as disciples of Jesus Christ to bear the witness into the world. This morning, we continue our year-long focus on equipping the saints for the work of ministry, and we continue our sermon series on the sacred spaces that equip us for that work. This week, we'll be considering what happens right here at the baptismal font and how what happens in this place can change the way we live beyond. So I wonder this morning, since we last met here last Sunday, which sacred spaces have brought you closer to Christ into the work of ministry over the last week? I'll go first. I saw difference and impact being made in the hallways of children's circle preschool all week long. I saw it at the farmer's market in our parking lot yesterday morning and through the Saturday sales from the women at second. I saw difference and impact through our youth programming on Wednesday evening, the men at Second Revival, the voices of our choir practicing on Thursday night, and the bells ringing early this morning before sunrise. I saw it in every coat dropped off for our Northside neighbors, winter warmth. I saw it on Tuesday evening in the faces of our elders gathered together for the first time in many months. I see it and feel it as we gather for worship this morning. In this sacred space, we receive our charge for the essential work of ministry. And so, beloved, as Christ's equipped and sent disciples, let us turn our hearts to the presence of God. Let us worship. (laughs) 